Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on pair grids. In this lecture we'll go over pair grids. As usual we start by importing the libraries and modules that we need. Import numpy panda, seaborn and matplotlib pyplot and we have the special function to see our graphs in our Jupyter notebook. S pair grids are very similar to pair plots that we have seen before. You'll see how. The only difference is when we use pair grid, we'll be mapping the pair grid function to another function, maybe in the matplotlib functions or in Seaborn's function. Okay. You will see how they are very similar. For this lecture, we look the iris dataset. So we'll start by loading the iris iris dataset and saving it in a variable called iris. So SNS that load dataset. We'll be using the iris dataset. Okay. The next thing we'll do is we'll call Seaborn's pair plot method, pair grid method. So SNS that pair grid, and then we'll pass the iris dataset. We'll be using the iris dataset. And let's save this in a variable called X. The next thing we'll do is we'll be mapping our pair grid object to, let's say, matplotlib's scatter function. So we'll map it to PLT that scatter. Let me run this and show you what it looks like. It might take a few seconds. So here we have our pair grid. If you remember from the pair plot lecture, it looks very similar, right? The only difference is in pair plots, these diagonals are histograms. But here everything is scatter. Let me zoom out. So here we have sepal length, sepal widths, petal length, and petal widths. And same thing for the columns here. So we can see some correlation between these different variables. For instance, if we take petal lengths and petal widths, so we can see some correlation between those two. There's a positive correlation, a strong correlation. And same thing here for petal width and petal length. That's the same thing. Another thing we can do is change this diagonal graphs to some other graphs. For instance, instead of a scatter plot, we can change it to a histogram. For that, we we'll need to call a function known as map diagonal. Okay, by calling that function, we can change this diagonal graphs. Let's see an example of that. So we have SNS that pair grid. We'll be using the iris dataset. So we'll pass iris. And then let's map it next. So the function we call is the map diagonal function. So map underscore diagram diagonal and we'll call matplotlib's hist function. So when we change the diagonals, there is one other thing that we need to change. Before I show you that, let's see what it looks like if I call our function now. If I run this, let me not parry. This is pair. Let me run it again. So it will take a few seconds. So notice here, our diagonal has changed, right? From a scatter plot, now we have a histogram. But something is missing. How about the rest of the plots? Where did it go? So when we call this map diagonal function, we also need to call another function known as map of diagonal. By calling this function, we'll be able to display 
the remaining graphs. Let's do that. So x is equal to x that map of diagonal. We'll need to call this function. And this function will display whatever we pass as an attribute, right? For instance, if I want to display scatter plots, we simply call matplotlib scatter. That way, the rest of the grids will be filled with scatter plots. So if I run this again, now we have scatter plots and our diagonal is a histogram. Another thing we can do is we can pass a hue attribute and that will allow us to see different hues. In this case, we can pass hue as species. That way we'll have all the three different species of iris. Let's look at an example. I'll copy that, paste it here, and let's pass the hue attribute in our pair grid. So we'll set the hue to species. Okay, let me run this and show you what the result is. Again, there will also be one thing missing. I want to run it first. Okay, so now we have three different colors. Since we added hue as species, we have three different colors. We know each color corresponds to each iris species. But one thing is missing, right? Where is the legend for our hue? A legend is missing. So what we'll do next is call a function known as the add legend function. And that function will display our legends. So let's set x is equal to x dot add legend. Add underscore legend. Right? So if we run this again, now we'll be able to see the legend for our graph. So here we have legend, species, blue is setosa, versicolor, virginica. And we have our iris species pair grid. This looks much nicer. Let's see some other attributes that we can add. Let's start with the palette attribute. So if we want to change the palette of our pair grid, we can simply pass the palette attribute and pass any palette that we want. Let's try cool warm, run it. So this is what cool warm looks like. And you can change this to some other palettes. I'll leave some values for you to play around. So you can change it to HUSL or Winter R, or I think there is one called RDBU. So you can change it to different values and see what it looks like. Okay. And another thing we can do is we can change. the way the histogram is displayed. There's one attribute known as the hist type attribute. So we can pass that attribute and change the way the histogram is displayed. Let me copy this and show you an example. Let me copy it. Paste it here. So under our map diagonal function, we have plt.hist. And then we'll pass another attribute known as hist type. And one hist type is called step. So we'll change it to step. And let's change the color to autumn. And our hist type is step. Let's run it and see what it looks like. So this is a step hist type and the color is not very great. Let me change it to 
rdbu run it again again not, not so great color let's change it to hsl not so great either i just wanted to show you the color of the histograms so let me remove the palette attribute and let's use the default color or palette okay i guess it's the same but i just wanted to show you that this is a step histogram and we have our legend here blue is for setosa we have red for virginica and versicala this is a different hist type known as step and we can pass additional attributes to our histogram one such attribute is known as the line widths you can change the line widths to a different width let's try for okay much nicer right okay i guess the problem was not with the palette attribute so adjusting the line widths solve the visibility problem so let's change this back to rdbu and run it one more time so you can pass one or more of these attributes to adjust the styling of your pair grids